what's going on? All you vigilante, violent badasses out there, when crime starts knocking, <laughs> the ghetto blasters start playing? I don't know. The ghetto blasters start blowing. There you go. Start, start blowing. Blasting. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with your boyfriend, Samurai Guy, hanging out again with the OGP, who's been on fire recently. I'm doing some stuff. Posting yeah, up tons of content, so make sure yeah. you guys subscribe. Appreciate I have a it. link it. to his yeah. channel in the description box below. Yeah. But uh, Do that right back after again. give this video a thumbs up. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, as is, as is tradition, we're doing a, we're doing a double feature today. <laughs> uh, we're going to start, this review will be for the first film. So, yes. uh, really quick, we uh, we got together and uh, we, it was like a six hour stream <laughs> uh, talking about, on our main channel, yeah, on our main channel. 50 fucking movies I watched. Uh, all the in, horror films in, we watched. In, uh, well, yeah, that's right. right. We both. Yeah, it was, it was both of us. He did the 50. I did. I threw yeah. in what I could there. Uh, <laughs> but shout out uh, to the badass that recommended this movie, uh, Judgment Day. Yes. He recommended this movie, Judgment Day. So we were like, okay, we got to watch this to see how bad it is. Check it out. But when you looked up to try to purchase Judgment Day, you found it was hard to find. Yes. Period. But it came in this two-pack. And this was the last copy available on Amazon. Yeah. It came in this two-pack with another movie called Ghetto Blaster. Yes. Yes, and we yeah. were like, just we were sold with the title. Oh, there yeah. There was a hint that it was a vigilante movie. Yeah. So he was just like, I gotta buy this, and it was yeah, the last it, one. It was the last wow. one. It's destiny. Um, it's fate. Yeah. No. Totally. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> It was 20 bucks, and I was yeah. like, ooh, do I get it? And then it shows up in the mail, and it's got, like, the purple back on the disc, so right. it's like somebody burned it at their house. <laughs> so, um, yeah. you know, like some other distributors we know. But but, anyways, I was like, damn it. I was kind of, like, going like, man, I, I, you know, I don't know. Oh, so, it's a limited edition. <laughs> oh, how about that? How about that? Limited but, edition, Frolio so, double. And even the artwork is a little suspect here, you know, like... It, it does. It looks like somebody printed it. Um, yeah. You know, on especially on their here, home PC especially or here. something. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna talk about Ghetto Blaster first, and then we'll do another video on Judgment Day. Yes. All right. So Ghetto Blaster. A uh, quick plot synopsis: The movie came out in 1989. Uh, in Ghetto Blaster, Travis must defend his family when his hood jets. I think it's supposed to be hood, <laughs> hood jets. They, hood jets. <laughs> they fucked up. They, I saw that already. They fucked up. It hood, doesn't look like Hood Jets, but yeah. it's Hood Gets. Hood Gets worse with criminal activity and <laughs> I, gang warfare and blah, 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 blah. Big budget. Vigil vigilante movie. You guys see yes. it. You, got, you, you know what's up here. Yeah. All right. The, the, the dude goes back home. Yeah. He was gone doing construction or whatever. Goes back home. Right. His mom and dad are still living in the place he grew up. Right. 40 years later, whatever. Running the, run the, the little shop, the little liquor store. The little liquor store. Uh -huh. And the, the Hood is kind of taken over. It's kind of... The neighborhood's gone downhill. Right. And um, he's... He's thinking, there with his daughter. He, but he's thinking, hey, yeah. you know what? Like, this is my hood. Right, it's my you know, hood. We're going to make it like it was. Right, yeah. So, and then I'll, I'll let you yeah. carry on with so, the, the storyline. Yeah. So, this movie, we're going to we're gonna just jump right into it. It's called Ghetto Blaster. It's a vigilante movie. So, me and OGP's fingers were crossed oh, 100%, 100%. that this was going to be B-movie gold, Yes, and this movie exceeded our expectations, It was man. great. It was entertainment Look, start to Listen finish. to this music. <laughs> this is how I do it here. Yeah, I can oh, yeah. Do you really have to I, mean, I, I don't know how to break dance anymore. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I got like a broken <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> <so I'm laughs> Yeah, that's the soundtrack of the movie. That's the soundtrack of the movie. Yes, I highly, the whole movie. I highly doubt I'll get a copyright claim for the song. Yeah, I think you're okay. okay. I think so, you're okay. Uh, yeah, so soundtrack is fantastic. It fits yes. the movie perfect. Totally, yeah. Uh, we got a lot of crazy editing. He kind of calmed down later in the movie. No, and so at first, but yeah, yeah we're talking so about it. throughout the movie, as as things were going on. Um, you know, when, when our hero was kind of going places, they would edit and cut in, like, to the beat, the music, to that beat, and cut in, like, random shots of graffiti and stuff. But then, and, and so I, I told you there was a plan to where after... Well, are, we going to spoil, are, we, are we going spoilers? Okay. 1989, uh, right. fuck it. After our hero kind of wins the epic battle at the end... Yeah. 
we see the the walking that kind of thing going on again right. but we don't get the cuts to the graffiti and i think that's kind of symbol symbolic of we've won the war right and so ah, that graffiti is kind of look at this guy i think like yeah that the style of editing was yeah and, then, was, i think it was, was kind of like we get it there's, there's graffiti yeah and, and yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> went overboard with it a little bit but you know what the music yeah. was like Oh yeah, good with it. So yeah. you're like, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, it's it's all right. But, but you you know, you saw it at the very beginning. You thought a little montage. Yeah. You expected some, you know, credits or something. Right. And I think really, it, no, there was some credits at the beginning. I remember seeing the Ghetto a Blaster bit, yeah, logo or something. Bit, yeah. Not much, but um, you kind of expect that in the beginning of movies. But yeah. then it just kept going throughout right. the movie, and so might maybe might have done something a little different with that personally. Right. But so um, is the is the movie predictable? Yes. So they, yeah. is that, is that, can you predict every single yeah. scene that's about to happen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Does that hurt our entertainment of the movie? No. No, 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 no. no. It, and, oh, man. So, father gets shot, right? And, you know, his best friend, well, not his best friend, it was his father's best friend, this older uh, black gentleman. Yeah. They set him on fire. They set his cat on fire. Yeah. You know, you get these rival gangs trying to take over and uh, run by the king. He calls himself yeah, the, king, the king, and he's like yeah. the biggest pussy ever. Yeah. And it's just, it's just like the movie, it, it took a while. It was entertaining to watch. Yeah. But it took a while. You get a little bit of him fighting back here and there, but he doesn't go full vigilante yet. Yeah. Until, yeah. was it right after the, uh, so yeah, it was right after, after the, the friend, right? Well, okay, but. so He the, got the, jumped the, a couple of times, too. So, but the black guy got burned, but he never really learned that till the next day. Right, right. But, um. But yeah, yeah, he got jumped a couple was, of times, and you know, then he yeah, just he got, got fed jumped. Up. He got jumped. Yeah. After dad gets killed, right? He He's gets fed jumped, up. and yeah, dad's yeah. friend gets put dad's on friend, on yeah. fire, and the cat, and then he and then he finally turns. Yeah. yeah. And, but it did, but, it did seem like it took a while. Yeah. For him to because he was if he was beat down and like stuck in a hospital and couldn't turn and you know and, and like really go after these guys right. if he if there was something preventing that from happening. You know, from happening at that point, you would have kind of understood, okay, he can't go get him yet. But it was kind of almost like, is are we ever going to flip the switch to piss this guy off enough to where right. he's going to go avenge his father? Avenge me! Avenge me! Now, I'm gonna get him. All right, back to the movie. <laughs> Wolverines! <laughs> Wolverines! This guy is going straight Red Dawn over here. Red Dawn. It he's fucking guys over here. Back in Red Dawn. It has been a Red Dawn. Red Dawn. Uh, Red, okay, Red Dawn, the characters in Red Dawn versus the Warriors. Who wins that battle? Well, Red Dawn. Red, okay. Okay, but you got to take the weapons. You, gotta, you yeah. can't have guns. No, no guns, Warriors will wipe the floor okay, okay. with the Wolverines, okay? <laughs> we're way off fucking topic. That's what <laughs> but we're in the element. We're in this element. 80s, vigilante, oh, fighting, B movie, B movie, so it's fine. Uh, but oh, yeah, cool. so when he finally starts vigilanteing. Yeah. Um, he could show that he could defend himself. He he actually kicks some guys' butts here and there. Yeah, no, he definitely had but, some martial arts moves little bit, at some point. And, a little uh, bit, and, he, and some ingenuity. The, the he actor, had some ingenuity. You looked it up. The actor who's in this uh, plays Richard Hatch plays Apollo in the original Battlestar Galactica, right. like late seventies, uh, early eighties TV show. Right, right, right. So. And, so yeah, he, Apollo. The who knew Apollo could be vigilante Steven Seagal not style? Not Creed either. No. <laughs> I am not Creed. Eh? Uh, but yeah, like okay. So when he starts going on his vigilanteing, it's so ri ridiculously entertaining. Oh, it's great! It's so funny. It's great. You got a guy reach. You got what? You got one of the gang members reaching for something, and it, he leaves a mouse trap. Yeah. Right. A mouse trap. His fingers are all fucked up. He's like, ah. it's yeah. under a dumpster. It, yeah, it's everywhere random. under this fucking dumpster. He puts it in this one spot. Yeah, but I guess maybe there was like a drop zone for like a payment or drugs. I or think something that like was that. probably what it was. So he was going to get the drugs. Uh, there. A guy rides on his bike. He, he, there's a rope tied to the bike. Yeah. It launches the guy. Yeah, just um, don't pay attention that the yeah. motorcycle was aimed right for a bunch of trash cans yeah. that he flew into. You got you got potential but. rapists getting their necks broken. Yeah. Uh, you have. Uh, guy stealing purses and <laughs> lazily stealing purses. Uh, yeah, no, if you're gonna steal some broad's right. purse, right, right. If you're gonna run off, like, yeah, you might want to punch her in the gut or something <laughs> to slow her down. But no, it's just hey, and then he runs off. I mean, like, he was not winning a race. And then he that. just turns the corner, and our our badass yeah. is there. 
Yeah. Uh, ghetto Blaster's there. Travis. We're just going to call him Ghetto Blaster. <laughs> for, for no reason. <laughs> oh, you're so, down. Uh. So, right, so I was already entertaining the movie. And, of course, you're calling everything in the film, which is, which is, he's very good at that. I, I can stop, but. <laughs> and, no, 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 it's, 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 it's entertaining if it happens. happens yeah. yeah. So, we, again, another random montage scene where you have this lady coming out of her apartment. She gives this little kid a giant ghetto blaster, yeah. right? And the poor little kid was struggling with that shit, man. He was he was struggling. He goes down the sidewalk, and what did you say? Oh, the ghetto blaster was going to blow up. It was, yeah. it was a bomb. It was right. a bomb. So it was planned to have this kid go down there so he could get robbed. Yeah, knowing these thugs were going to steal it from him. Kid runs away, and I said, if this... I said, if this ghetto blaster blows up, this is a this is a five star movie. Yep. The good news is it blew up. The bad news is the three guys should have died. They it's, didn't die. Yeah, but it's still funny because you see them in the next shot he, injured. He puts the ghetto yeah. blaster on his shoulder. Yeah, and it blows up right next to his head. And yeah. the next shot, he's just got a band aid, like a giant bandage on his. Right now, like it would have been nice if they would have just blown his head completely oh, off. Yeah. Or just dust. You know, because, I mean, yeah. because with effects, you could have cut to a shot where the ghetto blaster was blocking his head. Yeah. And then you could have had something just explode outward. Right. You know, and then cut to another angle of him falling down. It was doable. Yeah. But they just didn't do it. They, I wish they would have blown his head off. Yeah. But, but it, it would have been. cool. The second yeah. he hits play, boom. Yeah. They, yeah. And then and the next shot after that, they're all, like, in casts. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> and stuff. And so shit. it's so, it's so ridiculous. I couldn't give it to five stars, but uh, if they died, I would have given it to five stars. Yeah. Uh, but, um, <laughs> oh, my God. And then, and then I don't know where they're trying to do a deal uh, with these higher, the king of the hammers. They're trying to do this deal with these higher-up guys to get in the syndicate or whatever. You can move on the ranks. And uh, our, our badass, Ghetto Blaster, yeah. How shows up. How infiltrate a drug deal? Yeah. You you go to Party City or what was it Col Columbo was uh, it? Columbo clowns Columbo clowns yeah. and you, he dressed up as a clown yeah and uh, yeah oh, Payaso yeah and uh, stole stole the stole the coca yeah he took the coca from the king got on a bike we had a clown on a bike chase and I call I thought he was gonna choke him out with right. the, with the balloons he had all these balloons I thought he was right. gonna you know tie him up with the balloon. But he, he tied his hand to the bench with the balloon wire. Right, and know? he said there's, uh, what did he say, there was something? Well, there was some, whatever gas or something that was going to blow, yeah. he was going to kill him. if, if Mercury. He, he said there's mercury okay. inside. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, we have, a, this is this this movie exists, you guys. It's this great. movie it's exists. Great. We have in here a, a guy, a vigilante, who's dressed up as a clown, who rides on a bicycle, a, 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 a motorbike, yeah. away from the bad guys. One of the bad guys cuts him off. Pulls out a knife, and he pulls out a gun, and it's just a water gun. And the guy's <laughs> like, oh! squirt, 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 squirt. Yeah. And then oh, he drives off. Fucking hysterical, yeah. Fucking hysterical. So we're we're enjoying all of this ridiculousness. Oh, yeah. And totally. then when it got to the actual finale finale, we were like, okay, we have a huge warehouse, yep. abandoned build, building location. Yep. Let's get the body yep. count. The yes. body count rises, right? And... Finally, you know, we had oh, a shootout. Yeah. A lot of people got shot. Well, the first three people there, the first three takeouts were um, stealth. Like, kills. you know, he just punched, kicked, right, that type right, of thing. Right, right, and right. so you're like, no, wait a minute. You're filming in this big ass warehouse. Yeah. Give us something, you know, give us bullets flying, give us right. explosions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, at first it was yeah. like, oh, are we, we were going nervous. Through, are we going to? Oh, but then they yeah. came through for us. Oh, yeah. And, man, the king got sprayed the fuck up Ver Paul Verhoeven style, which was unexpected. And Dude dude and, gets, uh, gets shot, falls uh, off of stairs, and is dead on the ground Peter Griffin style with his leg kind of cocked right backwards. <laughs> like, you ever see Peter Griffin fall down the staircase the way he yeah, looks? Yeah. He it's this just, guy fucking, they, they're like, here, turn your leg sideways. So yeah, that was and, wonderful. And uh, wonderful. The, the, the love interest who's uh, related to... Uh, uh, the second in command of the Hammers, who's wanting to King to die so he could take over to make the ghetto yeah. a better place and whatever. And then it goes to our montage afterwards, where they're cleaning the graffiti and everything's fine. And uh, uh, Ghetto Blaster's daughter is now running the shop now, and everything's great. And 
You know what, man? Yeah, this ex really exceeded our expectations for sure. The only thing else that that you know that maybe you didn't cover there was mm. just the epic explosion after the car crash. And <laughs> yes. It was this massive yes. explosion that was because because really motherfucking eighties. Yes. That's why. No. Yeah. You had the music. You had the bullets flying. You had the the the, the karate, the fist fights, the car chases. I mean, yeah. like everything you wanted. The only, th I mean, like, okay, this was the 80s, so we know they had white people playing, <laughs> you know, like yeah. they played Native Americans, they played right, Mexicans, right, right. everything. So a lot of times they would be talking about, you know, hey, we're going to go do the rasa to visit our family today. You'd have that, like that one or two words in the sense where they tried to make themselves sound like yeah. Latin or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, but, but it was eighties and that yeah. shit happened. Yeah. So, it happened. And, and it uh, happened in this. So it was, it was pure, perfect eighties goodness. Yeah. And it was, the movie felt like it was 30 minutes long. I, yeah. It, was, it yeah. was what? 73 or something like, or did we, did we get it? It doesn't say on there. No. Okay. No. But I, I think, I, uh, we, what we saw when we were, when we paused it, it was, it was maybe, a, maybe a, an hour or 20 minutes or somewhere in that neighborhood. Right, 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 right. But, uh, but it went by fast. It was just yeah. action, action, action. And, yeah. uh, oh, oh, I forgot our little surprise. So when we started playing this, oh, yeah. I thought he got fucked over. Oh, uh, we were worried. I because was, we were there very was worried. a short put on before Ghetto Blaster starts on yes. this disc. Yeah. And it's a legit porn, but the porn was edited out. It kind of cropped. And what was, the, what was the name of the porn we think it is? Uh, like Girl Scout Cookies? Girl Scout Cookies. And I yeah. thought he got fucked over. Like yeah, somebody no, just put a porn on we, the disc. It just started yeah. playing. Yeah. It didn't put up the menu or anything. Yeah, yeah, put the disc yeah. in and it just started Because we were playing. like, this doesn't look like 80s. This looks like the 70s. It was bad. Yeah. And so and we, luckily we skipped forward and then Ghetto Blaster started. And I think there might have been a 12-year-old in that porn. Because that Girl Scout <laughs> looked damn. mighty young. God damn but we it. didn't see. Yeah. There was yeah. no, you know, nipple We skipped explosion. through it. <laughs> but, oh my. So there's this guy. He's laying on the bed. And it cuts to like a close up of his face. And he's like, oh, suck it. Yeah. And it's like, no, what the anything. fuck are we watching? Yeah. I was like, oh my God. Ghetto Blaster? What the uh, fuck? It would well, be anyway. a ghetto blaster. <laughs> yeah. Tino Lorber. Vinegar please, Syndrome. Please do us the favor. Throw, do please us a solid. remaster this. Yes, find and it. It's, come on, come on, yeah. please. Whoever uh, put this onto a disc obviously ripped it right of a, off a VHS cassette. Yeah, yeah. So, but hopefully there's a master out there somewhere sitting at the bottom of like Universal's back lot or some shit point, like that. Like, at back find it's like some wherever they at, their archive of. At, Bullshit. Yeah. You know? At this point, I'll take a DVD quality. I mean, no, it's, oh, no, I mean, this is like full screen VHS yeah. rip. Like it's not yeah. great, but yeah. uh, I am very happy that we we did watch this and this little extra bonus we got because we bought this to watch Judgment Day. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So it's time. You know, let's go ahead and wrap it up so we can get to Judgment Day. Yeah. Uh, what are you rank ranking? Ranking okay. rating. So Ghetto Blaster. Out we're going. Five. We're going with the samurai scale, one to five here. Yeah, three is five. average. Three is average. Okay, and all things considered, because you have to understand, being that this was made in the '80s, they didn't have the technology that we have now. They didn't have the budget, obviously. But right. for what they had, and which I wish, I wish we would have looked up the budget. And maybe, maybe we can mention that when we do the other video. Um, but I, I would love to know what the budget was. I'm, this, I'm, I'm, I don't even think this is Death Wish three budget. Yeah, no, I mean, no, this is probably uh, no, uh, way less. Yeah, no, my guess would be for being made in 89, I would guess this is probably definitely less than a million dollars. I would right. think this is probably somewhere three, four hundred thousand dollars range because they did have some locations. They right. did have uh, squibs. You know, we had squibs. I mean, fire. Glorious lit squibs. people on fire. Yeah. There was, so there was a bunch of things going on. Mm -hmm. but, um, but all things considered, I would give this uh, like a four out of five. Yeah. As yeah. far as it was entertaining as yeah. all fun. Just for pure entertainment value, yeah. rating this within the genre, yeah. you know, uh, it's representing. It had everything definitely. you wanted, including boobies, if you wanted that too. Yeah, for They were the, everything <laughs> was there. Everything. So yeah, exceeded our yeah. expectations. Check out Ghetto Blaster if you if you can try to find a copy. I don't know. This might be the last copy yeah. in existence. You know, Hey, somebody burned this. They probably could fire up their computer and burn yeah, another one. So true. there may be that's another true. one out there by now. Yeah. But I got on Amazon. It was 1995. 
it showed up at my house like two days after I ordered it. Yeah. And uh, it's been waiting for us to do this uh, movie magic goodness yes. right here. A lot of fun. So, uh, yeah. So are you going to go with the four also? Oh, yeah, I mean, four. Okay, four for me, cool. for nice. sure. Four for that's me, good. for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, you know, and, that's uh, a great Yeah, game. so now it is on to Judgment Day. So thanks again for watching hanging out with us for this video. Subscribe if Please. you're new to the channel. Like, share, and subscribe to the second channel of Samurai Guys, the movie dojo. And, uh, yeah, it's on to Judgment Day. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Anywhere I can, man, that's the plan. Can you hit me back with it? It's easy to understand. Oh. You know, like it, you want to start me fine. Just watch it. <laughs> I'm going to get mine. You're going to hit me back with it? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving my van. Like... <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs>